welcome to this video. This video is about the apps I use to study languages. I am mainly studying Japanese, but I do study other languages like Korean as a hobby. Um, I have in total five apps, four apps on my phone and one app on my iPad. I want to first by saying this. I don't like using apps to study languages. I prefer to look at lessons on websites and learn from them or watch YouTube videos, pick a playlist, pick a YouTuber or using a grammar book or using any resources my teacher have given me. I do learn Japanese at school. I'm doing NCA Level 3 Japanese. Now some of these apps you can use to study other languages but let's start off with the first app, Shilabe Jisho, which is a Japanese English dictionary. Yes, you don't really need to download the dictionary app. If you're studying Japanese, you can use gshot.org, which is a dictionary site. It is actually very good as well. But I think this app is pretty good. So if we click on a word, for example, letter, we get all of these meanings and words in Japanese. So if we click on one, you, you get the hiragana and kanji, which, which are writing systems in Japanese. You get the pronunciation. It tells you how common it is. You also get example sentences, which is very good. I also think that this app doesn't require Wi-Fi, which is also very good as well. The next app is Lingo there, which is a popular app for learning languages. And you can use this app for other languages as well. These languages on the screen are the selections, so you can learn Korean, Chinese, Italian, all of these languages, including English. So I think this app is a very basic app, an app that you can learn all of the basic stuff, um, a foundation, so that you can build on top of it. This app is also probably more um, entertaining and more fun, and especially when you're learning languages, it can be quite frustrating. So having an app like this is very beneficial as well, but I personally wouldn't use it. The next app is Easy Japanese, which is Japanese written in an easy form, so I can read it easier. So you have these short texts, um, the kanji has a hiragana on top, so you can improve your reading skills, expand your vocabulary, which is very good. If you can find an app like this for the language you're learning, I highly recommend you downloading the app. The last app on my phone is HelloTalk, which is a language learning app or a socialization app. So you can message people and you can help them learn languages. I am learning Chinese, so I'm speaking to a lot of Chinese people. And yes. So you can also join group chats. As you can see on the screen, I have joined some group chats, which is um, can be really useful. But this app I find not very productive. It's more socialization. You can search people who are online. You can also read other people's moments, posts, um, which is very helpful to learn. You can create your own moments and posts, which is very good. I think this app is overall okay. You can find someone who is very keen on learning a language. So that's all the apps I have on my phone. Let's get into my iPad. The next app or the last app that I think is very good to learn a language is Hi Native. Hi Native is an app that you can ask questions to native speakers and they will answer, reply to you. You can also um, answer other people's questions. Um, they can ask questions about a country, for example, New Zealand. So here are the questions they can ask. The one with the P is the premium version. So you have to get the premium version in order to ask those questions. I do highly recommend it, but I am not using it. So let's just take um, one for an example. So I ask here, how do I say I drink coffee, formal and informal in Japanese? I wasn't sure about informal so i asked him and i got um some answers you can like the comment you can feature their answers and yeah it's a very good app to double check your sentences and native speakers will um, answer your questions which i think is a very very good app i highly recommend downloading this so this is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it 
and please stay tuned to my next video and have a great morning afternoon night or just good night bye bye